Yo, what's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, comes to you with a brand new video. Before we get into the video, hit that sub button, like the video, and comment down below your thoughts on this video. Before we get into it, man, um, we're so close to 1,200 subscribers, so hit that subscribe button. I think we're like seven way. We're at 1,193, I believe. So hit that subscribe button. On the last video, I asked for 10 likes, and you guys blew out the water. So let's aim for 15 likes, you know, a little bit upgrade from last video. But yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. So there's been reports and rumors that are, have been circulating around NBA Twitter or even just in NBA discussions where the New York Knicks have been monitoring and have inquired about Kyle Kuzma from the Washington Wizards. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I don't understand this move in any sort of way. Kyle Kuzma is a three or four. And both those positions, whether you like it or not, have been filled by, you know, guys that we paid a bag to. RJ Barrett, we just signed to an extension. He plays a small four position. Um, Julius Randle is the four that we paid a lot of money to in the previous season. And he's been our best player for the last couple of years now. Even though I would like to get to see I would like to see the man traded, he's been playing phenomenal, and there's no way to deny that. Now, if this is the front office's way of saying, hey, you want us get you want us to get rid of Julius Randle and you want us to get somebody, you know, lesser value. Here's Kyle Kuzma. We still have to pay him twenty plus million dollars, and it just doesn't make sense. But unless you know, we can get off, you know, Julius Randle, and I don't really see how this is going to work in any sort of imagination, because Julius Randle is still going to be making a lot of money, and you have to match the contracts. So it would be Julius Randle. It just wouldn't make sense for you know what we have to give up for Kyle Kuzma, and what he's gonna bring on, uh, bring in terms of value. He's not a positive defender. He's an okay shot maker. He's been inefficient for most of his career. So that doesn't really help us. Uh, his defense is above, is average to below average. So that also doesn't help us. And the position that he plays is filled up. Both the positions. He can't play small ball five. Um, the four positions are taken out by Julius Randle. And RJ Barrett plays a three. Unless you're going to move RJ Barrett to two. Bench Quinton Grimes, which makes absolutely zero sense to me. Um, move Julius, uh, put Kyle Kuzma at the three and Julius Randle at the four. So our lineup would be Brunson, RJ, Kyle Kuzma, Julius Randle, and Mitch Robinson. We're going to give up 175 points. And our offense is not going to get better. So that doesn't make sense to me. Let me know how you guys feel about this. It's, it's not really adding up in my brain. Why would the Knicks be looking at Kyle Kuzma? You're not going to pay him $20 million in the offseason to come off the bench. So that also wouldn't work. And where do you find minutes for him off the bench? Because, you know, Julius Randle's going to play his 30 minutes. RJ Bear is going to play his 30 plus minutes. So it doesn't work out in any stretch. But yeah, guys, let me know in the comment section below how you guys feel about Kyle Kuzma. Would you guys trade for Kyle Kuzma? Does it make sense to you guys? Let me know in the comment section below. Hit that subscribe button. Like the video. Let's get to 15 likes. 1,200 subscribers. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.